Everything satisfactory, ladies? Oh, wonderful. My compliments to the chief. <laughs> Aren't you going to eat your chicken croquettes? They're very good. If they taste anything like that gray hamburger we had last night, I don't want any. Mm, I thought that was delicious. You must eat out a lot, Mrs. Bunker. Well, actually, we don't. The last time we ate out was our anniversary three years ago. <laughs> Unless, of course, you count snack bars. I never count snack bars. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Bunker, I'd like you to consider that if it weren't for you, all of us on the jury could be back with our families enjoying home-cooked meals. I think it's nice for someone else to do the cooking for a change. <laughs> <laughs> well, personally, I prefer my own Eric to prepare dinner. Your husband does the cooking? <laughs> Eric is my chef. He's from Paris. Paris? Oh, my. I'll bet his croquettes are something, huh? <laughs> Aren't you going to eat nothing? Just coffee. Oh. Mm, it's a shame to waste them. Mm, my Archie would love those in his lunchbox with an orange and a Twinkie. <laughs> A Twinkie. <laughs> yeah. They're those little cakes. They're about that long, and they have cream in the center. Some of them are devil's spoon with chocolate Mrs. on Mrs. Bunker, I don't care to hear about your Twinkies. <laughs> I just want to go home. I simply don't understand why you keep insisting that Rodriguez is innocent when three neighbors said they saw him entering the building. They... They could have been mistaken. Three different people? Oh, it could have been somebody else. You said yourself that all Puerto Ricans look alike. <laughs> to us, not to each other. I don't know. There's something about the way he keeps saying he's innocent. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. All those people are born liars. Besides, you have the neighbors who say they saw him. Well, if they was all born liars, how can you believe the neighbors? <laughs> because they're not accused of anything. <laughs> Mrs. Bunker, it's time we stop coddling these criminals. Those mad dogs have got to be put behind bars. He's not a mad dog. He's a nice-looking young boy. Well, then, look at it this way. We'd be doing that nice-looking young boy a favor by taking him out of that rat-infested ghetto and put into a nice, clean prison. <laughs> Still, his honor said a man has to be guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Eleven of us say he's guilty. Well... I got a reasonable doubt. And you're being totally unreasonable about it. I don't mean to be. Mrs. Stonehaste, oh, an important person like you probably makes decisions all the time. The only decisions I ever make is what to serve for dinner or how much starch to put in Archie's collars. In all... <laughs> In all my life, this is the first time anybody has asked me my opinion about something that really matters. And, and they'll probably never ask me again. So you see, Mrs. Stonehurst, this is really important. I, I'd hate to be wrong. Who is it? It's a bailiff. Uh, everybody down to the lobby. Judge wants everyone back in the courtroom right away. Uh, the bus is leaving in 20 minutes. Thank you. We better get dressed right away. Uh, can I help you take off some of the creams? 